how do we deal with the stress between ourselves and our loved ones when the world has turned upside down? The love we feel for those in our lives, it can feel this, it's a beautiful, it's just how wonderful it is, right? And then something happens and there's all this stuff in the way. And it takes a while for it to settle. How did it happen? What do we do? When we are with other people, each of us has our own thought bubble. This thought bubble has all of our thoughts, all of our experiences, all of our emotions within it. They're personal to us. We can't see what's in another person's thought bubble unless they tell us, unless we tell them. Now that's something that we navigate through our lives and through the world and through our relationship. And then a big change comes, either a change in our personal life, a change within our community, or a global pandemic that takes this thought bubble and turns it upside down and just keeps shaking it until pretty soon all of these little things are floating around. It's almost as if they're little bits of glitter. Everything's shiny and it's pointy and we're not sure what's happening. That interpretation is how we perceive what's happening in another person. We can't see inside their thought bubble. We can't see inside their, their values, their beliefs. And unless we ask, we can't know. Sometimes in our society, there's a judgment about asking. What's that joke? Well, if you don't know, I won't tell you. We don't know. Sometimes it's hard enough to know what's going on inside our own thoughts, our own minds. And that's, that's okay. God knows, especially when the world is turned upside down and everything that was familiar has suddenly changed. Well, you know, suddenly this beautiful, peaceful little image is occluded by things that get in the way. So how do we ask? Well, we have that choice of recognizing if the thought bubble, uh, if our own thought bubble is lined with mirrors that reflects our past, that reflects our fears, that reflects what, well, what we don't want to lose. That takes effort to have that thought bubble become porous, to let that thought bubble be a way of embracing ourselves so that it's not just a bubble that's only unto ourselves, but it's a way of sharing our thoughts, our lives, our feelings with another person. That can be scary, I'm not gonna lie, because it means that we're vulnerable. We're not in a glass bubble. We're not isolated unto ourselves, even if we happen to be social distancing, even if we happen to be quarantined for illness. Still, we, are, we live in a time where we can reach out and connect with other people, and we can ask those whom we love, what's the weather like inside today? What are the winds like 
within your heart. That's a challenge, but I believe that we are up to it. So while all of this stuff is swirling around, all of this stuff is flying through the world, we have the chance and the choice to ask and invite. To ask, is this an interpretation that's trapped by my own thought bubble? Or can I imagine that someone else might be experiencing something unfamiliar to me? Maybe I could be curious. Maybe I could be curious about what's happening in my own thought bubble. <gasps> and to meet someone new. It's inside me. I'm Catherine Gabriel Jones. I'm an encouragement coach. And no matter what might be swirling around, I believe in you. <laughs>